What's up everybody, my name is Amir Malik and I'm a medical graduate living in New York. If you're new to my channel, then previously I used to have a very comprehensive playlist on my channel where I would go through all of first aid for step one and all of first aid for CK while simultaneously revising topics from various Q banks to help master topics. Whether it was the progression of an MI or the differences between Cushing disorder and Cushing disease or whatever else, various types of tumors in neurology, my goal was always to help you memorize topics while also simultaneously understanding topics without any hesitation. I came up with many things from my annotated first day to the cheat sheet for test day as well as various mnemonics to help you perfectly incorporate topics into your mind such that you wouldn't really have to revise it again. You know, you study it once and you're done. So now I've been running a course. It started in January and it's been extremely successful. So I wanted to make this video so that when people come ask what the course is about, I can forward this to them. And of course, the rest of you can also share it with others that, that might be uh, looking for such help. My course is a three month course where I basically send you uh, resources to utilize during the uh, three month period. And every week I meet with students, right? So we have a Discord server. Discord is an app that's very similar to um, Skype and Zoom. It actually looks like this. So let me actually load it up on the screen also. So this is actually my Discord server right here, right? So you can see uh, my Discord server is called USMB Live. There's a link for joining the server in the description below. And when you join, you're gonna land on this introduction page right here. On the left, you can see there's a VIP CK room and a VIP Step 1 room, which are actually rooms where I meet with students that are signed up for those courses, and we discuss things on a regular basis. Right now, the server has about 524 people total that are offline, 15 that are online, and there's a bunch of little study rooms here which have been being used pretty extensively by people who come, talk about things, discuss topics, you know, they all communicate with each other about whatever it is they want to talk about, and then we go ahead and just... Uh, develop the, the course more and more as we go on. So these, these various rooms are rooms that I can join into and then utilize an audio setup or a video setup and have an entire discussion with everyone about whatever it is that we're discussing for that week. Um, so the resources you get, they're going to involve various annotated notes from me, annotated explanations for NVMEs, um, some videos from me where I break down topics and a lot of the videos from my original playlist as well where I'm just talking through everything as perfectly as possible so that it sticks to you. One of the funniest things that I personally found borderline weird that people have come back and told me was that on test day they kind of hear my voice. Now of course to me that was hilarious and really weird but at the same time it made sense, right? Because when I'm on here talking I make sure that as I teach you something I don't really make any hiccups in what I say, right? Nothing where I may have pronounced something incorrectly or said an inaccurate statement to the best of my abilities because I wouldn't want that inaccurate statement to be stuck with you. That being said, I have my little setup here with the main laptop, the big monitor, and the little monitor on the bottom to really be able to allocate all the resources perfectly and then speak to you guys in perfect tune and get it all out there. The course in the first month will be a breakdown from everything. So when you join, you have multiple options, first of all. Let's start there. You can start with just joining the Step 1 course, just joining the Step 2 course if you're done with Step 1 already or planning to take Step 2 first. Or you could join the combo course where you would get all uh, the videos and all the accesses to every material at the same time. The benefits of the combo course are pretty vast because now with Step 2 CS gone, Step 1 is starting to change shape and Step 2 is also starting to change shape. Step 1 is focusing more on the principles. So if we look at the contents of Step 1, you have all your principal topics such as the, uh, let's see where it is, right here. So you have your biochemistry, immunology, micro, path, farm, and then public health sciences which includes the notorious ethics that really messes up a lot of uh, students coming from the East, right? And these are topics that some of which will be in step two, but majority won't really be in step two. I mean, step two barely has any direct micro questions where they'll want to ask you the characteristics of certain bugs, whether something is uh, catalase positive or urease positive, stuff like that. It's not a thing. Uh, step two, CK barely asks any immunology questions where they go into the technicalities of things, whether it's a certain interleukin or a certain TNF-alpha inhibitor, etc. They'll have more 
uh, clinically relevant questions about immunology, whether somebody has a certain deficiency, immunodeficiency, or treating cancer, you know, those are topics you'll see, but not the nitty gritty things. So step one focuses a lot more on those nitty gritty things. One of the no most notorious topics step one focuses on is biochem metabolism, where you can literally link any metabolic cycle to an organ system question and then just throw a student off course and they'll mess up the, the answer. You know, one example is a patient who might have liver failure. The question starts off as a GIT question about liver failure and then all of a sudden shifts gears to ask you about the urea cycle or hyperaminemia and asterixis and then you just get really intimidated and you mess that connection up. Right mm -hmm. after that of course if you don't have a suspicion built up before you look at the answer choices you're going to be driven by the answer choices and that's just going to drive you crazy. So that's something that step one is going to be amplifying on. Step one is also tending to ask more step two CK type questions where they ask you about what's the next best step or you know whether you should order a certain test or do a certain procedure of management, right? This is what the bulk of step two CK questions are going to look like, but step one is going to be asking a lot more of those and you've probably already seen some of that in your U world questions. The other thing is that step two is going to start incorporating a lot more of what used to happen in step two CS, where you would get these 12 fake patients, write down your top three diagnoses, and then order the labs that you thought were most relevant for diagnosing them accurately, right? That was the bulk of that exam. And now step two CK is going to start really amplifying that aspect of what test should you order. Because you might be able to order two different tests for diagnosing the same issue. And they both might actually be viable tests to order. But one will always be the better test to order than the other. This is where multiple choice questions about what's the best option is really annoying, right? Because you could have two correct answers, but you have to pick the best answer choice, not the one that's less better. And that's always annoying. That's never going to get any easier for anyone. You just have to keep practicing. So when you sign up for the step one course, you get on the first month access to everything that I can provide for biochem all the way to cardiovascular. Right? So you're going to be diving into all of those topics with as much benefit from me as possible, where I try to make things as much commonsensical and logical as I can. And the second month, you get everything from endocrine to MSK. And then the last month is Neuro to Rest, where you get access to all the resources for all of that. In the Step 2 course, it goes pretty similarly. When you first sign up, the first month, you get access to everything from cardiovascular to ethics. All right? And then the second month is going to be everything from GIT to Neuro. And the third month is Obstetrics to Renal. Now, when you get to Step 2, you'll see that a lot of the topics you look at here are going to be basically the same things you've looked at in Step 1. I mean, most of cardiovascular is literally all the same. There's brand, there's nothing brand new in cardiovascular CK that you haven't already looked at in cardiovascular step one. They just dive a little more into it and talk to you a little more about management and actual clinical expertise of how to handle certain patients. For the most part, all of this is going to be mainly revision, and some of it gets a little more intense. Uh, the topics that are specifically much more intense in CK are the obstetrics and gynecology, where managing pregnancy and fetal heart rates are going to be a big deal. And then, of course, surgery, emergency medicine, and all the things about trauma. And infectious disease here is the microbiology version of CK, basically. So what happens when you're in the combo course is it's a cheaper price in the sense that each course itself is 400 a month. But if you do the combo course, it's just 600 a month for three months. Compared to most other courses that are out there that many of the people I know have done, whether it's Kaplan, uh, First Pass, or whatever other ones there, there are, there's a bunch out there nowadays, this is much more affordable and comprehensive. It's been proven through the YouTube channel that I had previously where all the access was there before the copyright issues that this material was beyond helpful for mastering step topics. Everyone absolutely loved it. And when you sign up for the combo course, what ends up really benefiting you is, is something cool that most people haven't really noticed. When you do step one questions, you read, oh, you know, patient came in with XYZ symptoms. We ordered test A. We sent them for uh, procedure B. And then they'll be like, what do you think is happening? Well, they'll ask you some kind of technicality question. The fact that they ordered test A and did procedure B are things you get better at after studying for first uh, for uh, step two because 
in step two, you'll see that when a person comes in with a certain issue, this is the test you should order. So when you're now in step one and you're seeing that they ordered this test, you can go ahead and do the reverse of that and understand that if that's the test they ordered, this must be the disease they have and so on. So knowing what procedure someone is being sent in to do or what kind of imaging test is being ordered really cues you into a reverse tracking of figuring out, oh, if I ordered that test, then this must be the problem. And you figure out a little more about how to approach these questions. Looking at both step one and step two together in my combo course is actually one of the most successful things that started ever since the course uh, took off in January. We finished our first semester January, February, and March, and it's been a massive hit. Now going into April, we're going to be starting up the second semester of students, and that's why I'm making this video to announce that this course not only is happening, but has been done once, and it's been an extreme success. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email using my contact information below. And, you know, I look forward to helping all of you as much as I can as I continue to make more YouTube videos and post them while I find time in between work and other errands of my own. Thank you very much. Keep working hard, and I'll see you guys again soon.